So my team found some of the rarest Minecraft 1.19 seeds, and today we're going to test them to see if they work. Every time I successfully test one, we unlock one digit for the final seed in this video, which is the most overpowered seed that we've ever seen in Minecraft history. So the guy on Reddit claims that it has a desert oasis in the center of a jungle, which is a really cool spot to make a base. So we type this seed in, and we're greeted with a spawn in the very center of this desert oasis, which is one of the most stunning spawns I've seen in my years of playing Minecraft. Not only do you have an oasis, but you also have a private island in the center of the oasis to make your base. Can you imagine? Imagine living here and being surrounded by the trees on all sides, or having a giant zombie apocalypse attack you through the trees. At least that's what I imagine. Now this forest is extremely dense, so you're really not gonna have any trouble getting wood in a base like this because it pretty much goes on forever in every single direction. Now that takes us one number closer to the final seed, and we just unlock the number one. Okay. This next seed is a flashback seed to Minecraft 1.16.3, which provides us one of the only seeds that looks like this. This is a really rare desert seed that has a village surrounded by grassland, except the village made of desert. The village is a completely sand village and it's literally on grass. This is almost impossible to happen in Minecraft. As weird as this is, when you zoom out, you start to see that it gets even weirder because surrounding this is a giant glacial biome, which means if you were able to live inside of this seed, you would have one of the most unique existences of all time in Minecraft. But what's even crazier is if you look inside these chests, you're gonna find a rare book. One book that you could never find on any other seed that's called ASDF. So when I open up this book in my inventory, it's gonna tell us what the last digit of the rare seed is, which apparently is four. So now our seed looks a lot like this. Now this seed requires you to travel 22 million blocks away from spawn. I'm not even joking. Look at the command we had to type in to get here. That is 24 million blocks and then 22. It's just unbelievable how far away this is. But if you do, you'll be rewarded greatly for your travels with the world's tallest cactus. Look at how big this sucker is. Now, according to Wikipedia, the world's tallest cactus is 19.4 meters, but actually this one is taller. So how tall is this big hunk of green? Well, if we measure it with blocks, you know what? I actually did not think that through very well, to be honest with you. But let me tell you, this one, this is one you're probably never going to use for the rest of your life, and you probably will forget this. Another number has been discovered on our journey to find the world's ultimate Minecraft seed. This is the world's most optimized Minecraft speedrunning seed because you spawn, you see, literally in a village next to a blacksmith and next to a building with many beds. This blacksmith has 17 obsidian inside of its chest. I've never seen anything like it, and as if it's meant to be, you literally walk across the street, and what do you find? A ruined portal waiting for you to go inside and light it up. I've, it's just, I've never seen anything like this. You've even got armor pickaxes, more obsidian, and flint and steel. Let me show you guys something pretty cool about this seed. Something you probably have never seen in your life. Actually, I can almost guarantee it. If you go down into this seed and find a stronghold portal, you're gonna notice that it's already lit. Do you know what the odds of this happening are? It's a one in one billion chance. This seed is legendary. And with that legendary seed comes another number for our legendary goal of unlocking the most amazing seed of all time. This is Minecraft Beta 1.19 and it spawns you literally next to a stunning cave. Look how crazy this is. Wow. That is kind of cool. Now, just a few steps away from spawn, you're greeted with multiple biomes intersecting. Look at how many different types nice. of wood, trees, and grass are located in this small area. You've got multiple monuments and over three swamp huts inside of this swamp. Now, these witches huts are literally spread out in what might be one of the biggest swamps that I've ever seen in Minecraft. And because this one was so cool, we're gonna unlock a number digit. But maybe you're looking for something a little more rare. Well, we found a seed here that actually is a double taiga village spawn. You're spawning in the middle of a taiga village, which is honestly one of the most beautiful cities. These villages look better than any of the others out there. I'll be locking these villages up in no time so they can do terrible trades with me. But it gets even better because as you go out a little farther, you're going to notice a double shipwreck just off the coast. You got one here, and you also have ruined portals and all kinds of other features around this base. It's crazy, not to mention an entire massive underwater cave right beneath it with tons of ores. There's an entire separate island here with nothing on it. So you could actually live on this island and then come over here and start building on and give the villagers like a great life. Now, one of the more absolutely stunning seeds you'll ever see is this one right here. But as you pivot over to the side, you're going to notice a absolutely incredible lush cave, but it also has a magical floating island. This is just one of the most beautiful things I've seen in Minecraft. The entire cave system here just looks magical. Not to mention the fact that there's a mine shaft and a spider spawner here to literally make your farm. I mean, it's beautiful. But if we take it even deeper, you're going to see that it gets even crazier with a massive lush cave down here with lava below it on these pillars. It's just such a pretty design. This looks like something out of like literally heaven. That means we're unlocking one more digit of a seed that's somehow better than this at the end of today's video. Our next seed's so crazy, it's like it's out of a history book. You have to see it to believe it. And I promise you, we did not touch any of the settings. Zach, what are you talking about? This seed looks super normal. Well, you see, my friends, this seed has a dark secret in the ocean. As you travel out into the ocean, you might notice an ocean monument. And then as you travel a little farther, you might notice another 
Ocean Monument. And as you continue to travel throughout this ocean, you might discover more and more and more and more. And you might realize after a little bit of travel that this Minecraft map has over 50 ocean monuments in this one single ocean. This is what it looks like when you zoom out thanks to this Reddit user. And this is insane. You could build a base and literally have infinite ocean monuments. In fact, you wouldn't believe how spread out those monuments are. They're hundreds, if not thousands of blocks from each other. With 64 ocean monuments, you're literally going to get infinite pirate treasure maps, infinite buried treasure, and basically infinite anything you want from these. Now, if you like Jurassic Park, you're going to like this next seed because it's as if you spawn on Jurassic Island itself. As we start to zoom out from this island, you see how absolutely stunning this one is. It's crazy. By the way, you got a lot of access to ore early on, so it's also a decent speedrun seed. But look at how big this thing is. I mean, this is literally Literally one of the biggest mountains in Minecraft. So you've got massive straight vertical cliffs on the side. It's just so beautiful. And it's so big as well. I mean, this look almost looks like something someone made in World Edit. Like the backside looks cool. And I know you saw that. We're gonna check that out in a second. There was definitely a secret cave right there. But look at this. Is that another secret cave? Oh my goodness. Looks even better in the middle of the day when you can see it all lit up. And look at this. You've got a cove for your boats. You've got this for your base. It just is so pretty and comes out right at the top. And it just looks like a perfect spot to come in and start working on that secret underground base. Can you imagine living down here inside of a mountain? There's a lot of potential here. And that's why this is one of my favorite seeds I've ever seen in Minecraft. Oh, by the way, one other secret. If you do happen to spawn here, there's a little cave you're going to find. And by little, I mean massive, and it goes way down into the center of the planet. But I wonder how good our last one is, because you just got one more number checked off. Now, this new Minecraft 1.19 experimental seed allows you to spawn directly above one of the biggest lush caves I've ever seen, and y'all know how much I like these. I mean, look how pretty this is. Come on. As you go deeper, so does the lush cave. Deeper and deeper you go, and yet it just seems like it goes on forever. Now, this is probably one of the biggest lush caves I've ever seen in my entire life. I mean, it basically goes as far as the eye can see. Like, you get down in here, and you just realize the actual scale of this thing. Pretty gargantuan. If you travel to the coordinates on screen, you're going to find one of the craziest looking dripstone caves that I've ever seen. This thing's so dangerous looking, it's unbelievable. I love that the mine shaft goes right through it and you can just see the actual size of this thing is huge. That's what she said. <laughs> and if you zoom out, you can see that just like the lush cave, it goes on almost forever. It's like the caves in this seed are just massive. And then you got this little special setup. This seed is just full of surprises. You've got a nice village here. And if you walk across, you see giant craters. But what's cool is this crater because this crater is a giant opening into the pit of the center of the earth with, of course, a mine shaft because why wouldn't there be? And look how deep this is. This is like a perfect cave to run down. Imagine how deep you could get without even needing to mine a single block on this world. It's so good. Our next Minecraft seed contains what may be the largest Minecraft underground lava lake ever. Take a look at the screen now as we pan down. It looks pretty normal until you get lower and lower and lower and eventually you see the actual scale of this underground lava zone. This is huge. There are nether oceans, nether lava lakes that are smaller than this. This is like multiple lakes combined into one. I mean, do you see the scale of this? But it's also livable. I mean, you could live down here. You got water, you got plants, you got area for trees. It's massive. This is unique. This is one that you're not going to see anywhere else, except the guy who found it on Reddit. It's where you'll see it there. This, if, you, if you've ever wanted an evil layer, this is basically a template for you to make an evil layer. It's just absolutely beautiful. By the way, if you do wait, make your way to the surface, you're also going to be greeted with an insane mushroom island. I mean, literally directly above it. Like there's the giant lava lake right there. It's literally below us and directly above the only land is a mushroom island. It just has so many rare features. And that means we have just one more seed to test until we unlock the world's rarest super seed. And I'm very excited. This Minecraft Bedrock Edition seed is one of my favorite seeds I've seen. It's on the newest wild update snapshot. And the reason I like it is because it reminds me of a very primitive survival gameplay. You've got all of these different biomes here, but look at how beautiful this river is. If you follow this river, look at that. It just opens up into a stunning plains with two villages in the distance and surrounded by these beautiful paths of water. The rivers look just so stunning. And I just love the way this one feels. And then right below you, you have this little portal in a cave that leads down into the great darkness. And it's, uh, it's freaking massive. I'll be honest with you, which means we just unlocked our final number. And it is right here. Let's go check this seed out and see what makes it so special. Right off the bat, you can see that it actually contains every single biome in the entire game, all surrounding a rare mushroom biome, which makes this unbelievably rare. Mesa, Savannah, Desert, Jungle, Mega, Taiga. It's literally got everything. Here's the Mushroom Island. And then as we get farther away, you can see all the different biomes as they start to change over time. So this is probably one of the most fun seeds you could play. 